Happy Monday. We're not doing the usual theme park vlog today. We are heading to the nearest IMAX theater after work so that uh, we can go see a preview snippet of the Guardians of the Galaxy movie. And it's a little bit different than the preview that we saw the other day at Hollywood Studios. And we're supposed to get a free poster, so we'll see how it goes. I'm very excited to see this movie, as you can tell. I grew up with uh, a lot of uh, comic book reading and a lot of interest in the Marvel Universe. So um, seeing all these movies come to life is a big thing, and I'm anxious to see how it goes. So I just went to go see the preview of the Guardians of the Galaxy, um, sponsored by IMAX and I believe Marvel Studios. Um, I was a little concerned that it might be the same type of um, preview that we saw the other day at Hollywood Studios, um, but it was completely different. And there was about um, 15 minutes worth of movie, um, continuous, that they showed, um, and then about two minutes worth of highlights of the film. Um, I have to say again, you know, we saw the one at Hollywood Studios the other day. I thought it was phenomenal. It looked like it was probably the intro to the movie. Um, and then today they showed a little bit more of the group and how they were formed and it is really super cool. I think that Marvel's doing something um, really cool here where at best for most folks I think when you're looking at the commercials on TV and it is um, being hyped pretty heavily I think at this point. Um, these are at best tertiary characters even to uh, folks that go through um, a lot of comic books. Um, so it's really cool to see them being made um, into kind of like the glue that binds the Marvel Universe together. So I know that this is going to set up the other films that they've got in queue for um, Avengers 3 and so on. So um, really cool stuff. I think the preview was out of this world. I, you know, the only the drawback is that we've got to wait until August 1st for the rest of the movie to come out. And I don't want to give any spoilers away here. I'm sure some folks will probably post video of the, the film and everything. I left my phone in the car because I thought that they would be uh, searching for phones um, or for cameras, etc. But they had a little bit lax security, so I'm sure folks will end up putting it out there for anybody that wants to go seek it out. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to let everybody go see it themselves first. But just awesome. If I could give it more than five stars out of five, I would. I think everyone's going to really love it. So I stopped at the store for a minute on the way home. and. This is what I have next to the car. Yep. A dirty diaper. Thank you, people. So I just had to fill up uh, the car with gas. And, uh, you know, my problem, because I drive a car that is not the most um, economical for gas. It's, I get about 25 miles to a gallon. And it may seem good or bad, but um, what's gas cost by you? What's crazy is that if I go from one county in Florida to the next county where I live, um, in, in the county that we live in, the gas runs about uh, 368 or so, and we just filled up and it was about um, 354. So it was like you know 14, 15 cent price difference just for driving a few miles to get to the, into another county. Um, you ever notice that? But. Um, gas cost by you. Oh, look at that sunset. It does not suck living in Florida. Ooh, yeah. So Mary's holding up a stuffed rocket. We got this today. Toys R Us. It'd be a good companion for going to the movie when it actually does come out. We also got this thing at the preview at Hollywood Studios. It's kind of like a color form or like a window clingy type thing for the Guardians of the Galaxy. It was a neat little giveaway. And finally, this is the poster that they gave out at the IMAX preview tonight. Which is really cool because it has the date on it for um, July 7th. And it was the only day that they're going to be giving it out. So a little bit of a limited poster. And not a bad little freebie. We are back from 7-Eleven. And we are going to try the Doritos Loaded. They're kind of like mozzarella sticks, but with Doritos cheese inside of them. So we'll give it a shot.
kind of tastes like a jalapeno popper, but without any of the kick. So there's definitely um, like nacho cheese in there, and it kind of tastes like crumbled Doritos on the outside for the breading, like a, a mozzarella stick. Now Mary's here. She's gonna try one as well. <laughs> and? Yeah, exactly what you said. Tastes like a jalapeno popper without the jalapeno. <laughs> mm. They're not bad. They're not fantastic. If they were in the supermarket, I might buy them, but I wouldn't go out of my way to try them again. But it was interesting. Not a bad snack. Probably one of the better things that 7-Eleven has to offer. Let's put it that way. So this is what we do at 11.30 at night. Jesse and I are looking at spoilers or things that we may have missed. Easter eggs for Diagon Alley at Universal Studios. And we're watching Tim and Jen. Hi guys. Well, on that note, it's late and I'm going to bed. I'm going to work tomorrow and then I'm going to head over to Universal to check out all of the madness that will be the grand opening of Diagon Alley. I don't expect Gringotts to last and, uh, as far as being open all day without issues, but hopefully I can cross my fingers that we're able to get on it tomorrow. So. Thanks again for watching. Have a great night.